Hey mate, welcome back to Satisfactory with me, JD. We're in the experimental build and we're going to go through some of the updates. Probably not all of them, not one video, but we're going to go through some of the updates and the improvements in the new experimental build of Satisfactory. Now, I had a chance to interview Jace late last night, well, later, late last night, and then stayed up really, really late last night to actually edit the video to have it out to you guys as fast as humanly possible. Which consequently means I'm a little bit late with this video, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm sure you guys would much prefer a interview with Jace rather than me going through some of the new features that is an experiment to build. Now, first things first. Um, if you bring up your inventory, we'll find out it's slightly changed. We can have a few things in your hands currently. And if you scroll your mouse wheel, you can scroll through them. Um, and yeah, you know, actually, if we look down at our bottom right, I can scan for summer loops, even though I don't have it unlocked. And crash sites. Uh, I have a crash site up there. Hang on, let's put a jetpack on. This is a crash site I've been to. So it is an experimental release, it is full of bugs. That's a crash site there. But you don't beep in any other direction. So maybe it's broken, maybe I just don't actually have the research yet. Um, but you can change this with a right click. So that it is something to keep in mind. Um, now, there are new technologies to unlock. The way you unlock the new te technologies is you have to go visit the man. They do not unlock through um, the normal hub and you need to actually have the items in your inventory already. Um, so we've got a water up here and we have the summer loop, the sulfur and the mercer sphere. I'm gonna do the sulfur first because it takes the absolute longest, about 15 minutes. Um, there's also quartz, but funnily enough, I haven't wandered across any quartz yet. Um, at the same time, we're also testing batteries, which had nothing, heat sinks, which had nothing, silica, which had nothing, and more silica, it seems. So I'm going to put a cut in here, and we can come back in 15 minutes or so. Uh, oh, and I also tested Sam or ore. So Sam or has not been unlocked yet. Heat sink, battery, silica. Uh, oh, we're going to try those as well because in theory they also have a research unit as well. No, maybe they just have a risk. Bones, bones, bones. Yeah, there we go. I guess the iron characters. I won't be any bullets. No. Looks like that's either still coming or maybe we have to get some other unlocks done first. Um, either way, I'm going to put in a cut here and I'm going to go find some quartz and I will be back with unlocking a sulfur. So, be right back. So, we've got some quartz mines. Um, they're right on the edge of my biome. Uh, there's no easy way to show. Um, what we'll do is bring up satisfactory maps. This is, of course, my start biome, and I've got some quartz over here. Um, the other thing I need to find is sulfur, which, again, I have a scanner in, like, one research time. As soon as I finish um, this milestone, I can then um, I can then scan for sulfur. And as soon as I finish the quartz milestone, I'll be able to scan for um, quartz as well. But I had to go find quartz first, because I hadn't... I just hadn't happened across it. Um, so, 
Um, I need to go upgrade all these belts because I ran out of... Uh, these are both pures, and I've got a Mark II Miner on each, so they're both doing 240. Um, but I ran out of Mark III and Mark IV belts, so... Halfway along this line, we go to Mark I belts, so... I'll be back! And we're back! Quartz is still going, so we'll go and launch off our space pod with our explosives. One, two, three, four... Boom! Sulfur can now be used to craft mobilisks. A remote detonator can be made in the equipment workshop. In anticipation for carrying explosives, R&D has inflated your pocket dimension and added an additional equipment slot. So we've got another equipment slot and more inventory, which is always a Now... We need object stores. Object stores, which is not something I've ever expected to mass craft. Which need beacons. So hang on. We need five of those. So five, which now means I need fifteen beacons. Shift to go by ten. Fifteen. So I need screws. I don't think I have a bucket there. So I need some wire, I need some rods, I need some screws, we'll just do a quick inventory run. So, as I was saying, we're going to make some object scanners. To make some novelist detonator. Also offered an open gun pattern. Explosive powder commonly common used in explosives and cartridges, which goes into knobless can be used with a detonator to blow up crack boulders of vegetation and other vulnerable targets. Which of course needs gunpowder and more beacons, funnily enough. Um, I see automation of beacons in our not too distant future. Coal and so forth. Coal is at the rear of this. Um, Shall we go see where sulfur is? Uh, quartz complete. Oh, we're going to research this type these of as well. Quartz possesses optimal piezoelectric properties and can be utilized to create oscillators and silicon, which are used in a variety of appliances. A new milestone has been added to Tier 4. Additional research required. Alright, so we'll throw a summer loop in there as well to get that one started. And... Nope, oh, you're still launched. Okay. The object has been named the Summer Sloop by R&D. It cannot be converted into something functional by current Fixit technology, however, R&D has requested more samples in exchange for new structural buildings. Yeah, I'm going to take a safety save. Because as far as I understand, this next research doesn't actually do anything. Let's go craft some explosives, which is two coal to one sulfur, which can be automated at both the craft bench and the um, equipment bench. So this means we can actually automate this process. Uh, as I and yet to tap any sulfur, uh, sulfur, we're just going to have to handcraft what we can handcraft. And then we're going to have to go blow some shit up. Let's do that one first. Oh really? It flew away? Do 
just now we can actually pick some of them. I know said there's one underground, right here. As soon as I stand up, look upright. There's a whole lot of nothing. Look at my fleet. I got one underground. Awesome. Uh, and we shouldn't really know. It's right quick. Right quick to make it go. Okay. We need to play with this toy. Uh, I need more beacons. Funnily enough. So I can build 12 of them. So I want about 12 beacons. It is going to prove that we're going to have to automate beacons, but um, they have four ingredients. They're going to need a manufacturer. And then beacons stack pretty high, so I'm guessing it's going to be a one-off machine which is going to have four storage containers, hand feed the whole thing, and then walk away and live alone. Steel pipes, of course. Uh, let's go get some steel pipes. And then we're going to test this baby out. Say, so, uh, it still wants more. Okay, so we're gonna throw a Mercer sphere in here. So yeah, do the first research at two minutes. When you see the four-minute research, just don't bother. Just walk away, walk away. Um, and then I'll see you guys in 30 seconds or so when we can unlock this one. Okay, so let's grab the Explorer. Uh, we need two of those, one of those, a bit of those, and 15 more beacons. Now, this is the one that Jay said in the, in the interview we did the other day, or last night, um, is... It's really designed for going into the Exploration based technology unlocked. Quartz based parts accessible along with a map of your fix it approved designated zone in need of charting. The new vehicle is aimed at efficient travel speed and all terrain handling. So, the new Explorer is really designed for going the distance and, and really going places. Um, and then, of course, we've got the. We've now got the technology of map view. Um, no idea why we have explored areas all the way over here. Maybe they're high enough we can see them. Okay. So what happens if I run over some more patches? Do they want to shut them down? No. Okay. Alright, so we now have F no. We have the Explorer, which requires more tech. We have the map. Looks like all our technology is unlocked, although there are some new items we've unlocked, like a raw quartz into quartz crystal. Which will give us a crystal oscillator which takes a long time to craft just for the record these are one one hit of the one hit of the crafting camera is fine uh, but these are eight I'm out of cable of course I'm out of cable why wouldn't I be out of cable tie the crystal to a piece of reinforced iron plate Okay, we'll go check the man. 
The Mercer Sphere cannot be converted into something functional by current Fixit technology, however R&D has requested more samples in exchange for rewards. And that one's like highlighted, so there you go. Um, we're going to throw five of our Noblesks in there and see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to reload one of these things. Because I have a rock over here that has been annoying me since the start of the game. Left click. I can't pick it back up, so make sure wherever you throw it, it's a good spot. Oh! Solved! One more pure iron node. Um, what else can we go say hi to? You know what? There's lots of those lovely plants laying around. The, the, you know the ones. You know the plants I'm talking about. Hello! I have a present for you. There you go. You hold your present. Oh! Solved! You could also have a present. No, you know what? Oh, we survived. I'm actually shocked. Uh, now, another thing with this update is a lot of your wildlife uh, and, and berries and, and stuff will have respawned. Um, it's not a guarantee, but a lot of it has respawned. Uh, at least that's what I found. Um, that's what other players on my Discord have said. Oh, we can look at the map on the water. Okay. So I'm going to put in yet another break, and we're going to come back with this research done, and I will have handcrafted a crap ton of crystal oscillators. And probably done that research as well. Yeah, probably. So I'll be right back. You know what we should do? We should take out an explorer. Oh, it's got a craft bench. I thought... I remember from, from the early access that it was said it wouldn't have a craft bench. Can we put... Oh, we can put fuel in there. We can put rocket fuel. Oh, it drifts. It drifts. It's nothing better than driving around in the factory. Yeah, the wheels might do some fun. Things. It's fine. It's fine. It's a design feature. Alright, can we go over the belt? Sure. It stops us dead, but then over we go. Dismantle the explorer. Put the explorer back. Give no. Give it more fuel. see the explorer killing more players than any creature on that. Nuts. Um, explorer. Fuel that it is drinking. Right, let's up, try something that we can. So I can walk up here with that button. Not walk up 
this section. And I can drive up now. Not an issue. Oh wow. Okay, drifting in this thing has become my new favourite pastime. See, all those leaves there are leaves that I haven't picked up and they've just kept annoying me. Now I know I can just drive straight over. I'm never picking up leaves again. I'm just going to drive over every... Are you back to the trip? Uh, are you still going? Okay. I guess we're going to do a cut and come back in 15 minutes. Alright. And we're back. So, we do have the ability to scan for sulfur now. Which is right there. So we actually have a sulfur node really close. There are other sulfur nodes. One over there somewhere and one in some other direction. But we can we at least reach one from the back of our base. Um, and yeah, after you've researched sulfur by finding some randomly and then... Um, and then unlocking the milestone, you can then scan for both sulfur and quartz. Same applies to quartz. And then quartz is our quartz node was over there, I want to say. I was close. Um, but our next research should be done, so we'll just go and check on it. seconds we can wait that long and then we can do the crystal oscillator which I now have 60 of so I can have a crack down. I should we do this first come on Ada have some good news for us you taught us how to make bus grenades or, or, or you have shown adequate restraint concerning explosives. I have weighed the danger levels of this planet against your chance of survival. Conclusion, a new milestone is now accessible in Tier 5. Okay, so before we unlock that, what's in Tier 5? A rifle! Okay. That's going to require some automation. Um, has a mag the size of 10. Okay, so we get ammo for the rifle. Um, so that's going to be something that probably won't be in this video because that would require me to actually get some automation running. But we will do the crystal oscillator before... Crystal oscillator. And the conveyor lifts. Now I've left these intentionally to the end because they're a little bit... I'm going to go with the word early access. They're definitely a little bit early access. They come in three different varieties, being your Mark 1, your Mark 2, your Mark 3, your Mark 4. I assume we're going to get Mark 5 and 6 when they come out. Um, and you choose the bottom and then you choose the top. Now, as you can see, if I have them both face me and I click, as soon as I drag up, the top one rotates. So you need to rotate it back. Um, but it does mean you can have some interesting designs. Um, also, and this is a, a weird thing, if you line them up, you can go further up. And then we can put the pole there. If I get some accuracy along the way, we can put pole into belt into conveyor bridge no I can't get these to snap to one another but I do have four over here being a mark one a mark two a mark three and a mark four I think that's right no nope. a mark one a mark two a mark three and a mark four and as you can see I have belted these back and forth to one another um, so if we put a... 
logistics, merger, can I need a snap to something? Put a place in there. And if I built this across, we can bring in, I don't know, what's this? Limestone? Limestone. And of course, it happens to be nighttime when I choose to show this off. I apologize, but the sun is slowly coming up. So these are very, very interesting the way they work. Um, and that's probably the best way I can put it. Do I have... Oh, do I have those? Oh. So they literally just slide straight up, which is cool, I guess, and it also simplifies building vertical as I have, because these great belts, spirals, are an absolute pain to build. Um, they're interesting to look at, but they are a pain to build. This seems like a much simpler method. So that belt up there just loops into, I want to say the next belt, but maybe it's a different belt. Um, we'll find out in a second, because one of these is going to start coming down. There we go. And these are like power poles, you can't upgrade them quite quickly. So, you've been warned, when you place these things down, make sure you get them in the spot you want them. So, it comes down, this will feed out and feed into the Mark IV. So, unfortunately, you cannot get a ride to the top. So, um, jump pads. Jump pads for the player. No riding up and down on elevators. And yeah, building them up is very, very easy. I demonstrated that on the floor. You can literally just pop them down and, 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 and click them together and away they go. Now, building them down is a whole different thing. Um, to get this one to go down, what I had to do, we'll come over this side and demonstrate on this side, is I had to go organization, storage container, have it just like as close to the edge as possible. Then logistics, conveyor lift. Um, and even though it looks like it's gonna go up, once you click, you then get to choose your direction. Um, but as it, it, it rotates. Um, also, I can't see exactly where it's going to end up until I wander down there. So, in some ways, these are going to be worse to build because you're going to have to literally start the top and work your way down or start the bottom and work your way up until you get it to the position you want. Um, so, hang on, if I get that to there... Lift. Uh, can belt from there to no too steep because they're at slightly different levels at the bottom. Same with this. It's it's a it's shy on impossible to actually get those two to link up. Um, I had to move that further over to then get it to link up. And once that's done I can throw materials in there and mark one belt. They'll slowly go downstairs. So a little bit difficult to set up um, but can be done. And I'm going to again put in one more cut 
and go see how our ma'am's doing to unlock our crystal oscillators. So, be right back. And we've got five seconds to go. And it turns out if you stare at this long enough, it looks like there's a picture of Simon that pops up in this little window. Okay. No new These armor. particular quartz-based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar technology. R&D has provided a new milestone in Tier 5 with a derived building. That's what we want. Uh, good news, I actually have most of the resources on me. Or available to build at least. Although that just made all of those disappear, so I feel there's going to be more handcrafts in the not too distant future. Uh, beacons, 10 more of those. Beacons are definitely, seems like something we're going to have to really automate. Um, no. uh, okay. Back in 20 seconds. And we're back. No, I didn't go craft any oscillators. I'm going to want some oscillators. Reveals an area around itself on the map, and the area grows over time to a max. Oh, red right after no chance. Blah. Ada lost her voice. Placing the tower higher increases the max area revealed. And then emails. Uh, right, all the charts and updates the area of the map when you fix it approved designated zone. You know, fix it approved designated zone. Because ah, if you remember right back at the start of the game, it says you're the third survivor, I think it is, um, on the planet. So potentially there's two other players or two other Fix-It employees out on the map somewhere. Uh, Fix-It approved designated zone and raised depending on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. That's really helpful. Uh, actually, what was it? X for Radar technology unlocked. The radar tower automatically charts and updates the map of your Fixit approved designated zone in a radius dependent on its height. Initial charting takes a variable amount of time. So we can get it so I can. Alright. Once again I shall be back after I handcraft. Crafted a ridiculous amount of these things. 50 of them, you've got to be more than enough. Turns out not even close. Um, so, yeah, I will be back after I handcraft a bunch of these things. So, um, be right back. And one of the other small updates was our storage container Mark II is now called an industrial storage container with two inputs and two outputs. So, you can fill it faster because I've I've actually gone with just storage containers, just level one storage containers over and over and over and over because um, they actually worked really really well and it means if I want to deconstruct them, I'm only deconstructing like one at a time rather than potentially twice as many crap. Um, by the same token, there's nothing to stop you putting in two entirely different inputs and having some sort of horrible mess inside your storage container. So, yeah. Um, it's really designed to fill it twice as fast, but realistically you can have a horrible, horrible, horrible mess. Anyway, um, let's get back to the rest of the new items. Well, here we are at the absolute top of, well, my world at least. Um, actually, in a lot of cases we're... Let's check that. In a lot of cases we're actually above most of the terrain. Oops, that was... It's fine. Two hit points is plenty. Uh, we're gonna pop down a radar tower. Which is gonna need a power connection. You actually said impressive. Hang on. Oh, that was the other thing. Power pole's got an extra connection.
Mm. So it said Mark II power poles got an extra connection. And it also in the patch notes said Mark I poles, but they don't have an extra connection. Can we climb this? We can. So E to configure. Current scan area. Maximal scan area. Time until next scan. That's actually really cool. It doesn't tell you how much power it's using. Uh, main base. Okay, so if we bring up the map view now. Main base radar tower. Awesome, and you can see it's it's got a nice curve down here. <coughs> Not up here for some reason. Which is... That's a valley, so it's, it's, that's the other side of the valley. It's over there. It hasn't scanned that for some reason. Maybe that's still outside its range. Um, but obviously to end this, we need to climb all the way up. This could take a moment. Please be patient. Oh, we just ran out of ladder. Oh no, there's more ladder there. Oh. I wasn't watching. I was having a stand. Okay. Actually, I think I want to check back this fight. Go, go away. And I want that in my hand rather than this. Yep, I definitely want that in my hand. Okay. Well... Um, radar towers do what a lookout tower is meant to do. Actually give you somewhere to look out from. Because being able to get up this high, like, sure, I'm already cheating by being a long way off the ground to start with. But, um, that's impressive. And Oh, I can stand on it. Excellent. Um... I'm, I'm no expert, but these things on the side actually look like mobile phone data receivers. Um, just saying. Although, hang on, I need to look at this side. It's got two on that side, it's only got one. And turns out we can fall through the whole thing. So that we can fly through the whole thing. And we've only got one on this side, so um, the mobile coverage on, on the western side of the base is, is a little bit lackluster. I apologize. Oh crap, it still goes up. Can I, I can stand on that? Okay, one last attempt. Straight up. It's fine. I just want to stand on the top. Give it to me, game. No, it really uses all the fuel to get there. I think I was standing out for half a second. I got nervous. Alright, so, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, this was my quick look at some of the new things that have in the experimental update. Um, I need to apologise depending on how this video is cut up for any dogs in the background um, along with halfway through my morning there we go halfway through my morning a four well a, a, a cement drilling truck showed up next door and is currently drilling a eight inch round hole through solid concrete so I I can hear it, but maybe it's just coming through my ears and not through the microphone. I certainly hope so. Anyway, I need to apologize for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you if you want to follow me on Twitch, links down in the description. 
we will be continuing this base in its current iteration and continue to building on. Um, I'm going to be automating all the current products that have just been released in tier seven, six, five, whatever. All, all, all the sulfur products and all the quartz products, um, along with, I still need to do supercomputers because I never finished off supercomputers. Um, and the pyramid must grow. And I'm now looking at it and thinking maybe that because it steps in once every row, um, which gives this love of the design, I'm thinking maybe I need to go down to the bottom and expand the bottom out further and wider because um, we're running out of space. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.